Alright, so this is my tutorial on how to set up a project in Cubase 5. Okay, so what you're going to want to do uh, if you're new to this program, uh, you want to open up an empty project and you'll have this screen pop up. First thing you're going to want to do, click F4 which opens up the VST connections. You're gonna to want to set your input, so I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna to to add a bus. Now I use eight XLR inputs uh, for my drums, but you can set it to however many you want. So I'll just set the maximum number, uh, which is 14. And they're all mono inputs, so I can switch that later if I wanted to by adding a stereo input. And I add that. Now we go to outputs. We have it set to my monitors. So you can add another one uh, if you're using more than two, but I'm not, so I don't need that. Uh, in five, you have the control room option, and if you have that, you should not you should click that and not connect this. That way, you don't have it doubling and sounding all distorted. Now, well, let's go to device setup. Control key. Now I, I set it to lowest latency. I have it set to the US driver because I don't know, maybe I work fast. Okay, set that. Now, for your project, if you want to go to project setup, make sure you're recording at 96 kilohertz at 24 bit. You can change like the length and how the start time, frame rates, etc. To add audio tracks to record, right click here, click add audio. And I just choose however many you want. You can even use presets if you really wanted to, but I don't want it. So I'll just add eight mono tracks. There we go. Name them. Tab blah 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 blah. blah. Alright, to set their input, let's click on this track, and this one would be mono in one, so this will record the first XLR input. And etc. Let's say you had a thing in seven, you want to record that, it would record seven. The best thing you're gonna to want to do is add a group channel track for set to stereo. This would be your master bus, and then you're going to want to send everything to that eventually after you get your other groups. Like the drum, we could add a um, stereo, follow some drum bus, and you could like say this is a, this is a drum uh, recording. You got like a snare, a kick, you can send all, you can send those to the drum bus and then send the drum bus to the master bus. Set up an effect track, right click, add effects channel track, stereo or mono. You can even add an effect if you want, let's go find reverb, reverence, let's add that. There you go. Now pull up your mixer. Uh, F3. Uh, this right here shows the levels of your input tracks, so you can you can adjust the levels. I usually like to get them around minus three, minus six dB. That way it has headroom and it doesn't clip. And here's all your actual tracks where you can add. Um, Compressors, uh, EQ, all that, all that stuff, and yeah, and that's how you that's how you set up your project in Cubase. Thanks for watching.